In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add a Suica card to your Google Wallet. Adding transportation cards like Suica to your digital wallet can make traveling around Japan a breeze. However, there are a few nuances to keep in mind to ensure a smooth process. Let's dive in and cover each step thoroughly. First things first, you want to make sure you can add the Suica card just like you would with any other card. Suica, the smart card for public transport in Japan, offers great convenience when traveling on trains, buses, or even when making purchases at convenience stores. Begin by opening your Google Wallet app on your mobile device. You'll want to head to the Add a Card section in the app, which is typically easily accessible from the main screen. Once there, select the option for adding a transportation card, not a credit or debit card. Here, you'll enter your Suica card details. This is similar to how you would input information for any card, requiring the necessary details printed on the physical Suica card. However, here's where it gets a bit tricky and crucial. The problem arises if your Google Wallet isn't set to the Japanese version. This is an important distinction because only the Japan-specific version of Google Wallet supports the Suica card feature fully. If your Google Wallet is set to an account or region outside of Japan, you're likely to encounter issues where the Suica card won't show up, even after adding it. To resolve this issue, you will need the Japanese version of the Google Wallet app on your device. If you find yourself outside of Japan, this might mean changing the country settings on your Google account to Japan. This is a critical step, as the region settings are what dictate the kinds of services and applications that are accessible on your device. You may need to check your current settings and adjust accordingly to reflect Japanese locale options. If the options are not immediately available, you might need to go into your device's settings to adjust your Google account's location preferences. Keep in mind that changing region settings can sometimes affect other applications or services tied to your Google account, so make sure to consider the broader implications. As you adjust these settings, reopen the Google Wallet app and try to add the Suica card again. This adjustment should now allow Google Wallet to recognize and support the card fully. With the Suica card successfully added, you're equipped to enjoy seamless access to Japan's transportation network and more. That's it for today's guide. I hope this helps you navigate the system smoothly. Feel free to let us know if this was helpful and subscribe for more useful tips. Thank you for watching.